Okay, I just had a region code player I used with my HDMI cable. This is pretty funny. Now, you saw the unboxing. This play is nice. It, I like it. It has the same menu as my um, 4K player that I have. The, it's not the um, the Adobe Vision one. Actually, no, it is. The, all, all the LG players are, have boring menus, and then they complain about Panasonic. They all look the same to me. They all have terrible menus that are not fun. Um... I actually prefer Panasonic more because they're not trying to act like a rainbow with all the colors everywhere. Okay, so um, here's the problem. You can't use any HDMI cable you want on these region code players, at least the one I have. I noticed I use an old GE cable. You might have seen it before. It's a white cable. It's like, And I tried to plug it. I plugged it into the back of the player. I plugged it into the TV. Nothing. Now, I thought maybe it's because I, want, I was using one of those... um extenders you know you plug it into one it goes to the other which there was two different cables being used um one was the ge cable and one, one was another one that has no brand brand name on it and um it didn't work um as soon as i used the other cables such as the no brand cable it worked fine the one i think it was the one that came with the um the uh region coded player that i bought and then i used um, what's it called? Yeah, I think it was that. I just used that cable. The regular shitty cable. I had two of those. So I connected it to a connector and everything worked fine. I don't know what it is with this, but you know, this kind of, this kind of sucks because it just proves that, you know, you can't use just any cable and stick it onto a television and have it work. These people, all these people you speak about, um, that speak about this stuff are all telling you that. As long, it doesn't matter how much you spend on a cable, as long as the specifications um, are, are met. That's not necessarily true, because the cable I was using was more than good enough to do what with what I was doing. This is um, you know, this is this region code player I bought can only achieve 1080p, and I found an old spec. This cable is so old I couldn't even find it on the internet because they don't sell it anymore. But it was a 1080p cable at the time. It says it can accept 4K signals. It's probably bullshit. And it says it can do HDR or something like that. But still, it didn't work. I had to plug in the old the shitty cable that came with it. So you have to really w watch out what you do. You, you should have decent cables in your house, though. I have a lot of shitty cables. Like, you know, I use them for certain things like crappy c cable boxes and stuff. Well, actually, not cable boxes anymore. Crappy things. And, you know, I've noticed that it's not doing me any good. It's doing me worse. Um, I, I just you know I'm sick and tired of using um, inferior products. And I think from now on, when it comes to HDMI cables, I'm just going to buy really nice ones. I don't care what people say and if they think I'm blowing my money. I'd rather do that than be stuck with a problem. I was just stuck on a problem right now. You're going to say, well, what's the big deal? You still have, I still have a, a ca two cables left over that I can use for other things. But um, I would rather have the good cables because as long as I use those, I know they're always going to work no matter what I plug them into. In this case, it looked, this shitty cable I was just used on didn't work. But there's an add-on add to all this story. I'm using the exact same cable... On another 4K player plugged into my OLED TV, and it works fine. So maybe it just is the region code player that's the issue. Because if it works on a, you know, uh, uh, LG 4K player, or not a Dolby Vision, just if it, it can work on that, then why the hell can can it work on the um, the um, multi region code player? I wish region codes were just all for everybody and they didn't have to buy a special player i think it's really stupid i think people should just be able to have a choice i personally think myself that after all these years it doesn't seem like you know physical media is going to make a comeback or anything so why not just eliminate the whole region code thing from now on from now on every dvd that's sold or blu-ray don't put any region lock on them just let them work on anything it will, and people will buy tons of them you know how much more money these companies would make if they didn't have restrictions? I don't think anyone's gonna want, gonna care about the laws. They probably probably would revoke them by now because everyone's making the money on streaming. Uh, if you to if you if you went to the government and said, "Look, can you lift this law?" They might have a law in place that the government 
requires. But if you can get by them, then you can change it and just switch everything off. Because right now, 4K for the most part is region free. But it's not completely region free. I saw some videos and saw some information that showed me 4K is not always region free. There are some 4K discs that only work certain places. That's why people buy probably buy region free 4K plays, but that's going to be the most over um, overkill ripoff on the planet. I mean, it, it's just kind of stupid, especially since everything's almost 4K region free. So whatever. All right. So um, where can you buy these things? Amazon or eBay? You can probably buy them off of these weird websites, but I go on Amazon and buy them. I bought two of them on Amazon. They've been nothing but great. No problems or anything. People complain about problems, but they, they gotta. That's not. They shouldn't complain about them. Another thing is, why are people complaining on Amazon that these players don't work good on the internet, or um, or what else? Um, Netflix or uh, someone said Hulu wasn't supported anymore. Well, no duh. The play is older than it's old as dirt. I mean, a lot of these plays are old, so they're not going to support it. I just started laughing my ass off when I heard that. You don't buy these players to stream movies. It's so stupid. Why would you buy the Blu-ray player in the first place? And even said it in the comments. It said, we bought this mainly to um, to stream movies. And I'm saying to myself, stream? You bought a Blu-ray player just to stream? That doesn't make any sense. So what do you have a whole disc drive for? For nothing? And these things, these machines were never meant to play hard drives. Like, with when you store movies and stuff on them. They were never meant to do that. Like, in theory, it's a really good idea to have something that you can just connect to your television to, sh to show videos. But there's so many better ways to do that, do that now. But years ago, that's how it was. Like they had the ability to put, like, a portable hard drive. Which I thought was a really good idea. Um... But the um, smaller plays just don't have the processing power and all that to do that kind of stuff. And even the upgraded plays, I can imagine, like, they, they, only, they, they don't work very well. Then they only support certain formats. Even the ones you spend $500 on, there's only a few formats, if anything, that support it. So if you're going to make a video and you're going to um, put it onto a hard drive or something, you better make sure it's on the right format. Just telling you. All right, well, if you buy one of these things, you're looking at how much money? 150 to $200 for anything that's worth anything. You spend any less than that, it's a ripoff. Don't waste your money just buying a DVD um, um, region code player because those are cheaper and you, you shouldn't do that. Just buy the one that does the DVD. I have a 3D one too. And um, the reason why I say that is, is because you never know if you might accident, not accidentally, if you, if you might upgrade one day or decide you have, you're going to have a better television and you can do different stuff. If you're stuck with just the DVD, that's kind of, yeah, I don't like that at all. You've got to have the, at least to have the Blu-ray. I have the Blu-ray 3D one. I have three, I now have three multi-region code D, um players and all of them support 3d none of them are going to use 3d probably ever but at least i know i have a lot of 3d players now and i only have two ways to watch 3d playstation tv now and the projector and playstation tv is more like no no option at all because the glasses are so hard to buy i bought them but if you forget to charge them after so long forget it they don't work anymore and you have to buy a new pair Worst experience ever is was to do that. Oh, um, what else can I say about this this player? It came real fast. I bought it and within less, I think less than a week, or close to that, it was already at my house. It was all fired up. It was the same one as before, same directions. People had problems um changing region codes a lot of the times i don't know why they left that th in in the comments they probably bought a different player and somehow they went to the wrong comment because there's instructions in each one of the one the first two i bought the first one that i received as a gift was nice and it worked i could watch re region code 3d yeah 3d and stuff like that the only problem was is that it took a flash drive and you had to put it in in i think you had to type a code or something to change the region code 
every time every time you wanted to go to a certain region. What a pain in the ass that was. Bye-bye.